there's kind of an odd thing that we do in schools with standardized testing. If you have a student who is at a lower level, um, they're not at grade level, there's a gap between where they're at and where they're supposed to be. Now ideally we want to catch this gap early in the early grades because there's not as much of a jump to get them up. But then as you move along, as they get further and further, a lot of times uh, a student's gap between the grade level and um, where they're at is quite large and it's hard to get them up. So you put them in a class where you have a student who has been feeling failure and then the teacher works with them, they individualize the instruction, they differentiate and they just really help that student to move and they challenge and motivate them and move them up and they tighten that gap. But the problem is then we give them these grades or we give them scores on a standardized test that show that they are still far below basic. And then the student, instead of realizing that they have made a lot of progress and have built on success and can make that final jump, they can feel demotivated, like they're not smart, when really they just have a short gap to go. So gaming mechanics can help teach us how we can motivate students better just through changing some of the vocabulary and how we approach things, and maybe changing how we grade so they can feel that success like you feel in a game, even if you're not at the level you think you should be.